Hello, I greet everyone in Grant community. I still remain Comrade Philip, the National President of Justice for the Masses. Today is 22nd of June 2024. I want to briefly call, uh, make a serious caution against those people that are abusing or causing Mrs. Dimitope Balogo just because she reported the case of this UAG promise and failed disbursement to the human rights organization. Uh, when you see UAG running up and down, you will know that they know that there is trouble. If you are not guilty, I don't expect you to have any form of fear inside of you. If you have not done anything wrong, you don't have any reason to be afraid of any offenses. When we come up the first day, we came up with a press conference. There is a lot of opposition from everywhere. Different kind of gimmicks, different kind of strategy to water down the move of the press conference. They do all kind of things, they iron, Pascal Anyagu and others, they bring different kind of uh, fake press conference to, to pollute the one we are doing, different kind of people coming with their home just to pollute it. And different attack on me as a person, and also different attack of Prince of Worry. We face a lot of attack and we understand what happened. Akogun also come with his own diabolic way to attack and after that power of hype also rose, raise up his own attack in different form. We have been facing different kind of attack just because we come up with a press conference a move. And when Mrs. Timitope Balogu come up, I know she's going to face the same thing. I know there will be. Now today, she has made a move and there is report, a petition laid against Apostle Ken in the Human Rights Organization. And uh, everybody is attacking her left side and center, uh, making her to be the enemy of this boss man. The same thing they did to us when we were trying to, when we are campaigning, uh, making the moves of the press conference. Now they have made that the enemy of this boss man and uh, everybody is cursing her, everybody is abusing her. I want to say this, this woman has done the right thing. What we expect the CEO to, to, to have done in the past uh, time that we have started making the move, what makes us not to make some moves before the press conference is because the CEOs are not supporting us there. We're finding it difficult to make moves. There have been the file of these UAAG activities in National Human Rights Commission by Justice for the Masses Movement. Not just National Human Rights Commission, there are other human rights commissions outside this country that have the file of this case in their, in, in, in their custody. But we need those people that directly pay to UAAG and none of them is coming forth because UAG is having them in their grip, they have them under their arm, none of them is supportive at that time and we don't have any option than just to wait and we have waited and the time has come. Mrs. Temitope Balogun herself is a CEO and she is coordinating teams and other uh, teams of CEO for this petition. And that makes the work so easy. And now we find UAAG foot soldier running up and down, afraid of what may come upon them. If truly the money is there and UAG is in charge of this disbursement, why are they afraid? Like what Reverend Agbechano said yesterday, he said, Ken Nwakama is not the one that is fully in charge. The government are the determinant factor of this disbursement. Why is everybody shouting the Ken Uwakama petition, uh, the petition of Ken Uwakama in the human rights organization with stop disbursement? 
Is it the government that are in charge that misses Balogo petition? No. It's Ken. It's just a member. It's just a member of this committee. Why we petitioning him to stop or stop this busman? Now I know the kind of brains that we have in Grant community. We have some stupid and foolish people in Grant community that cannot think or reason well. I know the reason why we are finding it difficult to tell people don't pay your money anyhow to Grant and La, and they will still rush there, they will pay. Now Mama Supreme now is stylishly asking for money. He say it's not compulsory, stylishly ask for money. You will see some foolish idiot masses will still go ahead to continue to pump their, mo their money into our account. These are the kind of people we have in Grant's community. Now, after June, no disbursement, you will see UAAG will come out. They will say, they suppose the plan on Grant has been settled and it's been sealed up for UAAG to disburse in the month of June. Mrs. Demita petitioning a petition against opposed to Ken delay the disbursement, made the disbursement not to happen. You will hear them say that. The right thinking people in Grant's community, whenever you hear them say that, you should know that Grant UAAG is a failure. They don't have anything to disburse from time. They are only using, looking for something they will hold on as a reason, as an excuse for them to justify themselves. I'm very sure you will hear that. They will come out to say it. Now, those people you see coming out up and down, shouting and cursing Mrs. Temitope Balogun, they are foot soldiers. They are people that they believe they, are, they, they, they have spent money. They have collected money for gold under opposed to Ken. They have sold a lot of, uh, what was the name, bond under opposed to Ken. And they want him to be the, 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 the one to disburse so that all their dirty, dirty jobs will be covered. It's not the interest of the masses they are looking for. It's for their own interest and their own safety after disbursement. That is what I want us to know. Whosoever come out and start fighting, supporting either all grand pressure group or fighting to support opposed to Ken, they have a stake in those two organizations. They have something they are protecting for their own selfish interests in those two organizations. They have sold one or two things either for organ pressure group or either in the name of Apostolic UAG. And they want, if the one that belongs to Apostolic will be fighting that it must be Apostolic that must be born. The one that have sold for organ pressure group must be fighting that it must be organ pressure group. It's not because they want the masses to get the money, it's for their own selfish interests. And they know that if the money comes through their own principal, they have a lot of money, they have a lot of gain. For me, that is why they are fight. They are fighting. This one we belong. This one we say they are for UAG. This one we say they are for all time pressure group. The two people are not fighting for the interest. All their fight is not for the interest of the masses. It's for their own interest. They will never come out to tell you what they are really fighting for. Therefore, we so ever come out to say anything or raise cause up on this woman, Mrs. Temitope Balogun, that cause will return to you and your generation multiple times because she has done nothing wrong. Now, we in justice for the masses, we find it difficult to push because the CEO are not helping us. We brought out an email for people to submit their proof of payment and other things for us to make some move. Nobody came out because we need the CEOs. None of them came. They have been caged by the UAG management. And it's so easy today for Mrs. Temitope Balogo because she's, an, she's a CEO on her, for herself. And she came out and you people are shouting. For you to come out, it shows that there's something you people are afraid for, afraid of. For UAG and all grand people group to be fighting, I'm the one, you are the one. It shows that it's something they are fighting for, that they will never come out to tell the masses. Therefore, I want to advise Mrs. Demi Dr. Balogo, you are in the right path. Please continue. Please 
emphasize more in, in it. We are supporting you. We are before. We are behind you, and we are with you. The masses at this moment they are with you. Anyone that come out to stop, cause you abuse you, you should know that they are the them them. Those them them, the enemy. I know they will come after you. They will say all kind of things. They will threaten you. They will threaten your life. They will do all kind of. They don't need to us justice for the masses. Now, when the CEOs are not supporting us, that is why we resorted to press conference. Mrs. Temitope Balogun, please, God is with you. The masses are with you. Those that have died in this cause, their spirits are backing you up. No evil will be for you. When you are done with that, then come back and let's join forces together to move the press conference. Yes, let's to strengthen the move of the press conference. Grant community as a whole must be sanitized. The, I mean, all the grant handlers that have anybody that have ever com- collected money in the name of grant since eight years ago will be summoned by the federal government of this country and other agencies outside this country. They should be ready for that. Petition have not started their shouting. This is just the beginning. There are still many other petitions that will come in their numbers before the press conference call. Then why are you shouting just the little, just a shadow of what is about to come? You people are running up and down. I will not say more than that. God is if he is with the with the masses. And God will fight for the masses. This is Governor Philip. Bye for now.